Hello everyone. Let's talk about things in UML, Unified Modeling Language. Four types of things there are. First, structural things. It's a noun who does the work in a UML model, such as it could be class, interface, collaboration, use case, activity class, component, and node. The, the one who perform the work, behavioral things, next, the verb of a UML model such as interaction and state of message, verb which connect with each other and it shows it is active or passive. Another one is grouping things, the package which is used to group related model element in a cohesive unit. They are related to each other, then it will be created in a one group. Example, if we have a similar color shoe, then we will package in one box, something like that. And notation things, the note which may be appended include to the model to capture ad hoc information, additional information, which provide an additional information. These are the four things in UML. Let's de go deep inside these four things. First noun from problem definition, it's a noun. Static part of a model representing elements that are either conceptual or physical. Seven types of structural things in UML which we will describe in this particular lesson. Let's start with class. Class is an important object-oriented building block used to create a class diagram or a structural model. Description of set of objects. It provides description of a set of object with same attribute, operation, relationship and meaning. And here we can see in a figure class of a name which name is student and it should be generally class has a three apartment which we call three component the first it will include class name in the second it has it will have attributes and the third one is operation where we define some activities and work and the additional one is responsibility or which we called extra component this is not a mandatory optional and the left side we can see the plus s and minus sign these are the visibility the variables or attribute have for example plus means public it can be operated by the same class or a different class or class and protected which are inherited by the subclass private are used within that class they are operated or they can be seen within this class and the example is about student which have in the top we can uh, initiate with the class name student then it has an attribute like name it is in string roll number integer section string and the operation it will perform are display add edit delete and the further responsibility could be manage student in a class if it is if he or she is a captain or class leader Interface collection of operation that is specified service of a class which we can say that it has a collection of operation. It might be draw, move, uh, color. For example, if we take an example of figure, then it it can be implemented by different class, circle, rectangle. It is a specification of a functionality implemented by a class then interface are the collection of operation the function which we implement 
in a class which are the implemented by the class it is generally a method example is about figure then operation could be draw move color this these are the operation and which will be implemented by a different class like circle rectangle triangle and this is example of UML interface here we can see the visitor interface which have operation of visit get order or an order order visitor which we can visit and get order total and they have also data type double and uh, this is how we represent or note the interface and this is the another example of structural things for example if there is a player it has a operation of play stop pause reverse then studio can use it even dvd and cd player can use it and uh, another recorder can record it and uh, its subclass tape player also can listen the record as it is all are plus sign which are publicly denoted collaboration let's talk about collaboration collaboration represent interaction of many things in the uml there will be many things like uh, it has a different class different operation different attributes or one class can interact with another class how it will interact with each other this will be seen in the collaboration all elements of collaboration work together to provide overall behavior for example to place a order many objects are required to interact if i have to provide an order i need to first i have customer then item then a shopping center um, apps or maybe i can order or buy or if i am a owner of that place then i can sell it different object will interact with each other to perform these activities and use case distinct functional requirement set of sequence of action it is set of actions or set of scenario which will be implemented by a different actor it could be a primary actor or secondary actor that system perform with observable result of value of actor and actor are individual and the notation for this is ellipse for use case direct we will draw this we can see the user and it will interact with the huge case by its by a solid line which we can see there it's about active class it's just like not other class it can have active object exist in their one thread of operation and have their one address space active object that can initiate the that flow and are sequential and do something it can modify variables change program behavior and so on so they are actively involved and it's a physical thing used in a dynamic model it's is a class whose object one or more processes or thread active object can start or control the flow for example in this case the active class is school it has a school name then it has a public name which is which data type is string and address string and operation could be it can add or delete department school can modify or add a department so it's a active class the object in here can start 
and control the process. Component physical thing, physical and replaceable part of a system implement realize of set of interfaces. It contains represent physical packaging and other things like classes interface packages. Rectangle with tabs. It's a component. If I have to order a system, I should use some inventory system. So like for example, if I have to shop a cloth, then I should use an online shopping app, load physical things is a physical element that exit at a runtime and represent computational resources. So it's a physical things. It's a physical things which exist on a wrong time and represent a computational resources having same memory and quality processing capability implement realize a set of interfaces for example Linux server or HTTP server or STMP server mail server or maybe university have its one server which works and process and next is about dynamic model represent behavior of a system over time and space it changes in a time remain static it changes with the time and location interaction consists of a set of messages exchange among object to achieve purpose or functionality interaction means we have something that will interact to perform activities and links the connection among object is shown and notation is is directed line including the name of operation like for example customer can add order or he can cancel order state machine represent change in a state of object over time for example the machine can be in an idle state and when we turn on then it will uh, start its process so that it's running so it's it can be noted in a round rectangle with name so we can see in a figure that initial state start state and decision state and final state this is how we can represent the state of a machine in a UML unified modeling language this is an example of a state machine the chess game where we you can see in a black dot start white turns and black turns white moves black moves simultaneously checkmate cut and checkmate from black then black wins all is state met by both then it will be dropped and packages used to organize things in UML packages is whole thing that contains group of similar related things in one container or in one package or in one group tabulated folder with name like package name and then it will have sub packages and here we can see in a figure that there is two packages one are inherited package name is first and the subclasses can interact access or import those packages and the next is about annotational things in UML comment you can there is a confusion you may apply to describe or remark an element in model explanatory panel and rectangle with dog on corner with a textual comment it's an optional not a mandatory thank you very much